Um, what the fuck's happening? Let's do. I'm gonna answer some things in email. But I found out last night that apparently there's like a clandestine weed shop, uh, and we're trying to get there. We're trying to get in to that. Apparently, they only have one type of weed, but it's it's like a place you can go. That's basically why why I moved out of Romania to not. Uh, to not, because if you're like 35 and in Romania, your life is kind of over. <laughs> oh, you're 37. Okay, so we're kind of we're kind of close. You know what I mean, right? 37, 37 olds in Romania. They're way older than 37 olds in uh, in Denmark or anywhere. Like just you can you can not not just by go not not just by looking at their life, but just by going by their face. Faces get older quicker. Also, guys. It's like another thing. I'm uh, I'm like uh, one one uh, one uh, follower short of reaching 200. So I'm kind of excited about. I don't know. I, <laughs> I guess I'm getting excited about seeing ground numbers now. That's all. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, fuck Romania. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. Uh, good attitude. I would say. I feel like people are stupid. Hey, Stefan, what's happening? I feel like people are stupid everywhere. This. Uh, that's the big life lesson I got after moving to London. There are stupid people wherever you go. I should have, I should have, I should have known that from when I moved from like Baku to Bucharest. But I think I, I needed like another move to just confirm that uh, that supposition that I had. Having the lunch break at the moment, good to get a notification from you. Happy to hear that. Uh, uh, that's like a very consider that very intimate, getting a notification and not getting angry. I usually get angry at all notifications. And in Romania, one gram of weed or just hash, if they caught you, is bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's like another problem because I do, like, part of me wants to kind of, maybe I'll just retire in, like, Vaslui because I know, like, the hills and everything around there. But I do like to get high. And it's, like, if, if they catch you once, that's it. Your retirement is fucked. And also, like, a lot of the weed you get, I think it's, it's mostly, you know, like, hemp with, uh, with poison sprayed on it. They called it. They call it skunk, but it's uh, it's basically. I think it's it's basically just insecticide. Like I I, I, I get like a fake friend requests from like girls with big boobs, but uh, this one looks fake. Only it's like from a white old dude. So I shall keep investigating. Maybe when I'm not on stream. Uh, do you guys wanna play? Is anybody who wants to play me? If not, I'll just play random people online. But it's uh, it's funner when I play people I can talk to. Bryce from New Zealand. Best country in oh, Australia. Sorry about that. I need to learn the flags. What the fuck, boy? Uh, have you ever seen Bobby Fischer vs. the World? Very interesting chess documentary. I never knew how many chess grandmasters end up going insane. <laughs> I, uh, I feel like you could predict that, right? Uh. Kind, kind. I would guess, yeah. You need to, you need to diversify your study a bit in life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna say, I, I think I like Bobby Fischer more after he went insane than before. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, he was just sort of ranting and uh, he, 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 he looked happy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a big rant of him after. Uh, uh, after the 9-11 bombings. Yeah. Uh, just him on a plane with like a big beard and shit and then going, Good! Good! I'm glad it happened! Oh my god! <laughs> the Twin Towers Gambit! <laughs> my favorite <laughs> move! <laughs> <laughs> Classic strategy. <laughs> you said it might have been a Gambit. So then, then yeah. America got to attack Iraq. Yeah, led to a whole new world order, right? The greatest uh, female player of all time is like a Hungarian uh, lady called um, uh, Judith Polgar. Yeah. So she spent, she spent the. Uh, it's like her and her sister were like both uh, amazing players. Mm. Judith Polgar, yeah, uh, and. Uh, he, he spent like a, I don't know, like a, a couple of years at their house. He was like a house guest. 
<laughs> when they're just like, please, can you leave? <laughs> just one more game. <laughs> just one more game before I go. But then, I think that, that's the funny part. As, that's that's what the, the pole guards uh, were saying about it. As, uh, what, what they didn't enjoy about it. <laughs> 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 Basically, the issue was that uh, Bobby didn't want to play chess with them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he, was just, he was just sort of over chess at that point. <laughs> what do you think? I've taken this too far, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for me to stop. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't got anything else going on, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> We're just playing just in the house. One eternity later. Just <laughs> 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 just that's all over the place. <laughs> the girls playing just quietly in the corner. <laughs> Meanwhile, like the biggest chest play ever. Just <laughs> no, I refuse to do it. <laughs> oh, the the Paul Gar pa uh, father. That's like another big character. Yeah. Apparently, he he sort of said that he he wanted to prove that uh, champions aren't born; they're they're made. Right. With so, Judah. I'm assuming that the Judith sister didn't have a very happy childhood. <laughs> like the first time I, I, I was able to play Bullet yeah. was uh, was uh, uh, when I did some cocaine. <laughs> and then honestly I was able, I had the skills, the skill set to play Bullet. Before then, I just... <laughs> Gave me the confidence to achieve my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> No, Bullet is, is, is the one where you, uh, both players get like one minute each. Oh, and right. It, it was just honestly, without cocaine, too fast for me. Bring <laughs> got like a couple of lines, oh, I can, I can handle that. <laughs> you just do ch chess on different drugs each week. <laughs> See which, which yields the best results. I think I've tried every sort of activity in life. I've, I've tried it sober and high. Yeah. Uh... And it's both, it, it's both better, it can be both better and worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, don't, uh, don't waste food. I'm gonna say this, I think, is, is the best advice. Don't waste food, because that's killing the planet. Okay. <laughs> and I, I, give, I give good advice at the end. Bye-bye, uh, everybody.